Hello everybody, Burnt Out Guy here, and welcome back. Alright, so we're back in Netherwinter. Alright, so we did some a lot of grinding in that last episode, and uh, yeah, um, kind of sorry for that, but at the same time too, this is exactly what you're going to have to go through, you know, in order to get certain quests, but I think that's the longest time I've ever had to grind for something, so uh, it's not so bad. Um, Alright, so we'll cash this one in here. Or there's two. So we got these two going. And then he's going to ask us to look for a lost dispatch, so that's good. Alright, so now, if we go here, and we go to quests, and then campaigns, we go up to the third eye, okay? So, this is the only one, as far as I know, that we actually have to do this with. There might be more, though, I'm not sure, but we'll come across that when the time comes. So, you click A to start. Here's our 40 shards. We're going to start. So it's going to take 10 seconds for this one to be complete. I'm going to go wait for it. Alright, so now it's complete. We'll collect our reward. Now we got our 40 searing shards or whatever. Alright, so now that's done. Now, uh, in order to do this one, I think we have to go talk to her again. So, I guess we can wait to go talk to her. Um, yeah, see, so you're going to have to go talk to her. Alright, so how close are we to the beginning? Actually, it's right here, so this won't be so bad. Alright, perfect. We'll do it like that then. We'll go and we'll talk to her, and then we can start that quest off. Um, and then we could do other quests at the same time we do that one, because that one's kind of like a waiting game one. And, uh, yeah. Uh, we do get a... I think it's... Uh, I think we get some kind of an artifact or something like this from doing this. I can't quite remember. We'll figure it out. We'll we'll get it. And like I said too, it's just a uh, it's a waiting game one. So you know you just click on that and you're gonna have to wait 15 minutes for four times. So you're gonna have to do it's gonna take an hour to have that one done. So I'll be able to go through a few episodes um, while we do other quests in the meantime. So let's get our horse so that way it's a little bit faster to run around and go where we need to go. So, I want to go talk to her, so don't follow the quest thing, it put me back on the lost dispatch, but we do, we, I know where I'm going, so. Gonna go up these stairs, gonna go this side, gonna go up here, up the big red fancy stairs, and gonna go down this way. Yeah, so this is probably, um... It's not really even a tedious quest because that was the longest part that we had to do was right there, was collecting all those shards, really. So that's not so bad. The rest of it's kind of like, you know, a waiting game. So we'll go back and talk to her. And uh, when on my character yesterday, there was like so many people here, it was unreal. Alright, so collecting. That part is done. I'm going to go assemble for the future. That's perfect. So now. Now, we got the, uh, a level up, so we'll do this first. Oh, I can upgrade these. Perfect. Um, then I'll upgrade this one first. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Alright, perfect. Uh, oh, uh, I forgot the feats. We'll put one into our feats. Awesome. Good stuff. Alright, so now, we'll go back to quests, campaigns, and click into here. And now we have to assemble this four times, okay? Uh, so now it's going to take 15 minutes, so obviously we're not going to wait for the whole 15 minutes and you don't have to wait around here for it either. So this is where, you know, that part is done and now we just got to go and do some questing and while that's uh, doing its thing, well, we can adventure on and continue on with what we have to do and all that good stuff, right? Alright, load, load, load. I was thinking about eventually maybe trying to stream some games uh, going on Twitch and uh, streaming some offline games because of the fact that uh, my internet can't I don't think can handle streaming and on like this game and like an online game and streaming at the same time I only got like 10 10 down and one up and that's really not that great um, but it does, you know, allow me to play, you know, games online and all that good stuff, right? So, and uploading is ter horrendous. I have to, um, 
uh, I have to like upload my stuff when I go to sleep or when I go to work or whatever because I can't do it at the same time that I'm playing games. Not online games anyways, uh, but yeah. Uh, was there another quest in here? There was too. Uh, Sergeant Knox. Shit. I should have taken that quest while I was here. I'll go up to him because maybe uh, I'll be able to do another another kind of quest all at the same time. I didn't notice that. I should start checking my map uh, when I come into these areas and looking for the quests. I think that would probably be a lot uh, a lot better. That way I can save myself a little bit of running around to to go and do this. All right, so we'll go collect that quest. You should go oh, see yes. Marilyn the Pious. Yes, all right, because I hit level 12. Here, the shrine of the gods. That's right, she so when you hit level 12. To invoke the power of the gods. Okay, so this is actually really important, everybody. Um, now, this is the astral diamond thing I was telling you about earlier. So this is where it kind of starts off of you getting like astral diamonds and uh, rough astral diamonds. So after you get that quest, you come and you talk to this girl right here. Hello. Okay. She's going to, like, you know, invoke? tell you about invoking. Now, you see that icon in the uh, top right? It actually became ungrade. Well, if you hit your... You have to be... Okay. There's three places you can do this, okay? One is to come here. One is to go by a fire. And then the other one are these little things right here, okay? If you go into your inventory and you have a... a or a bound portable art altar. So say if you're out like adventuring and you're in the middle of a in the middle of a dungeon or something like that, well you can use these and you can place it down and then other people around you can actually do their invoking as well. So I'm gonna hold the right the left bumper, it's gonna bring up that menu, and then I hit the right D-pad. So when that's done, you're gonna see that it gave me 48 experience. 50 rough astral diamonds. Come on, get out of there. Uh, an Arden coin, a celestial coin. Now these coins you can only earn once a day, if I'm not mistaken, from invoking. But there's other ways to get these coins as well. And I have gotten them doing missions and certain things. So, yeah. And then we got an invoke blessing, which I'm not really 100% sure what these are about. But I'm going to go and investigate that and I'll let you all know so those are the things that we got from invoking now the next time up in the top corner it shows you a little counter counting down you're gonna be able to invoke again another 15 minutes then it's 30 minutes then it's 45 and then an hour and then 90 minutes or whatever right so yeah that's uh, that's that so that's the invoking thing so that's where you're gonna start going into your inventory and you're gonna look at your riches and you see that we got 50 rough astral diamonds so if you click A to refine them they go into astral diamonds so you can refine 36,000 of these a day alright and you can hold a total of a hundred million astral diamonds so you know do the math it's going to take you a little while to collect all that but it doesn't say how many you can actually hold here so it looks like it's pretty limitless on the amount that you can actually hold um, of rough astral diamonds so yeah this is what you're going to do you're going to take these and you're going to sell them in the marketplace afterwards um, but we'll get to that when the time comes all right so let's uh get on with the show man let's uh, go to that next uh that next uh, blah, 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 thingamabobber, <laughs> that next quest. All right, so now you see that when you hit level 12 and you hit certain level caps, that special quests come about. Come about. So it's always good to kind of like venture back and forth and all that good stuff. So yeah. All right, so now let's go to the next area or back to that area, anyways. And now, if you want to know which area your quest is in. And the one that you're following is in. Look for the arrow that's displayed next to the the name of the place. Okay, that means that's the one that you're actually following right now. Okay, so we're gonna go back to the tower district, and we're gonna go kick some ass. All right, that's what we need. We need some ass kicking time. All right, so let's get our horse, and off we go. So recover a lost dispatch bag from a courier. Okay, so that's just up here if I'm not mistaken. Um, there's some guys that I gotta fight, so that's not gonna be too, too bad. They're gonna go down pretty easy. So it's right here, so it's not too, too hard, right? Uh, where is that lost courier? Is it in here? 
No, I caught you. There, screwed you up good. Alright. Oh, my bag is full, so I'm gonna have to go sell some crap. Crap. Recover the disc bag thing. Dispatch. Alright, so we got that. That's good. So now where do we go? Alright, we go up here. That's kind of good that we're going up this way because I'll be able to sell some stuff, which is uh, very, very good. So I can see on the map that there's uh, a couple of quests lying around in here, so we're going to end up uh, doing some running around for some quests. So that's that's perfectly fine. Uh, the more quests, the merrier, because right now we can use all the experience that we can get, right? So we'll go cash this one in for now. Ready Talk to, to this guy. Well done. Carry on. Awesome. Oh, look at that, we're going back into another sewer. Alright, so if you come over to this guy right here, we can sell some stuff in the store. Um, I got a lot of junk in here I gotta sell. I should have done this off cam, but that's okay. So that I need to keep. Uh, that can go to the... Sold. It's not mine. Sold. Uh, screw it, I'm just gonna sell this stuff. I don't care. I'm probably going to get some better stuff very shortly anyways. Alright, what's in this bag? Oh my god, all this stuff is full. Alright, that's gone. Sell all this crap. What's this? Uh, actually, that's probably good to wear. I'll get rid of that, that, that. And this is the stuff I won from earlier. Alright. So, uh, go, go in here, back to items, switch my bag, I can equip that, that's good. We're going to move this back into here, move this into here, and move that into here. There we go. There, all that stuff is set, and what's this? Uh, oh yeah, I got that one too? Oh, that's good. Alright, so let's go to our mount. Mount, go to here, and if I put that on, I get plus two glory, gold, and experience gain, and two extra maximum hit points. There, awesome. That's that's very good. I needed that. All right, so now there's another quest over here. Where's this guy? Uh, talk to this guy. Hunting relics. Ah, oh, that's that. I don't want to. I don't want to do that. Sorry. That's that one quest I was just doing there earlier with everybody else, um, hunting the relics. But I guess, you know, you get a bonus for doing it or whatever. So what else is there? Um, Alright, so now we can just go this way. Go to the sewers. That's where we're going to go. So screw the, uh, the relic one for now, alright? I'm not in the mood to do that. Uh, maybe in another episode we can do that, but I had time to do this quest and pretty much I'll call it an episode. So that way, you know, I'm trying to be as formative as I possibly can for everybody. So that way, when you come across to doing all these quests, um, you will be, you know, you'll be well versed in what the hell's going on. So there, I'll just throw stuff at all of you. There. There, take that want to throw crap at me. Alright, so let's watch out for traps because uh, obviously right off of the bat there was one. So we'll just get rid of this one here. Oh, hello everybody. Oh, let's get away from you. Awesome. Good. Let's get all kinds of good more crap here. Uh, I got something down here. What's down here? This is the nature kit one. Oh, I don't have any nature kits. I'm going to eventually have to start stocking up on that crap, eh? Uh, there's some guys back here. Let's go kill them. He's got something. Oh, wow. You didn't last too long. Now, uh, what's this? Examine a scroll. Oh, lore. I'll take some lore. Don't mind if you do. Or if I do. Hmm? Alright, nothing else in here. No traps, no nothing. Alright, we're good to go. Let's go to one. Let's uh, find out what else we can discover. Uh, no traps lying around. We're pretty good here. Oh, there's something on the wall over there. I have to go check that out. Uh, what's this? Disarm a trap. Alright. I just want to make sure I disarm this one too. Hell if I want to get hit by anything. Alright, so those two traps are gone. We should be able to make it in here now. Really? You guys suck. Alright. Wow. 
Oh. There. Slow ass bastard, take that. Alright. Collecting the loot. Just looting everything up like crazy. Alright. What do we get here? Nice. Some more crafting stuff. I like this gold line all the way around all over the place. That's awesome. Give me more lying around gold. Gold I don't have to work for. <clears throat> oh, well, hello. I have no idea what the hell you were trying to do. Oh, they were reading some scroll spell. Oh, that's interesting. Alright, we've got an enforcer out here. What are you enforcing? Ah, take that. Oh, yeah. I'm just rocking this. Oh. I didn't see you. There must be another one here, too. Alright. Good stuff. I like how you all died. Yeah. Alright, anything in the corner there? Nothing there. Uh, what's this? I uh, can't do the religion one. Uh, what else? Healing potion. I'll take those for now. What the hell not? Because you never know when I'm going to... When I'm gonna do that astral diamond exchange thing, and in my other game, I think I got like 40 or 50 of those freaking chests, maybe even more. So it's uh, quite in, quite impressive. Really. There we go. All right, take that. Awesome, love it. And uh, what do we got here? Oh, got some lore. That's good. That's good. Another trap. So let's disarm that puppy. Don't want to get caught. Yeah, this is why I like a rogue. You save yourself so much trouble uh, with traps and all that crap. Alright, you didn't last too long. Uh, that's the way I like my enemies to die fast. There, take this. Oh, you magic user bastard. Ah. Oh well, I'll just dodge your attack instead. That was a pretty big attack. Alright, so they want me to go that way, but I think there's some stuff this way, so we're gonna go over here first. Yes! Take that! Alright. Got a treasure chest, that's awesome. Let's interact with that. Oh, we got some stuff. That's always good to get. Always so oh, Arcana. Let's see if we actually get it this time. Nice. Awesome. Uh, I notice sometimes uh, there's some in particular ones there you can fail like miserably and often, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, as long as you you, know, you kind of get the stuff, it's only for crafting later on, anyways. Like you're gonna see that uh, you're gonna require your I guess what the hell are they called? They're called com um, no, they're not companions. They're what is it called? Uh, it's right here. Professions. Yes, they're professions. It's the professions that you want to uh, <clears throat> that you want to do, and you're going to see the first one you're going to get is like leadership, and uh, that's going to be kind of helpful. So, all right, so let's uh, do this first. And take you out like this, and go behind you. <laughs> oh, I barely got away from that. Alright, good stuff. You're toast. That wasn't too hard. Oh, oh man. All these guys. Uh, let's use a health potion. Uh, we'll throw some stuff at you. Throw some stuff at you. Awesome. That's all of them. <laughs> that wasn't too bad, eh? Ladies and gentlemen, another quest has been complete. Oh, let's pick up some money here. Awesome. Alright, let's get our. get some boots. So let's go see what we got here. Uh, I can identify some stuff. Why not? Got some boots, a sword, and that's not for me. So unless no hunter ranger. All right. So the boots. Uh, we'll go with those ones unless the other ones are better. But we'll find out. That's not very good. Uh, life steal. You take deflection for life steal. Sure. Why not? Um, that one's recommended, so 21 life steal. Those ones are better. Those ones are better. Alright. What else? I think that's it, right? Yeah, that's it. There we got 
these boots here. And nothing in there. Alright, that's good, that's good. So we did get some little bit of upgrades for our guy throughout this mission. Or our, our chick. Yes, yes. So that's pretty much all that. We'll go cash in this quest. We'll accept the next one. And then uh, in the next episode, we will obviously continue on with questing and uh, discovering new things about the game. Oh, what's this little thing up in the top corner here? Oh, campaign. Okay, so now 15 minutes have passed. Uh, we can go and we can claim this one now. And then we can start it all over again. Yeah, and then accept it and start. So that was it. So now we got to do that uh, three more, two more times after this. So that's good. That's very good. At least things are coming along very well. That's all that matters. All right, so we can go cash this in. We can sell some stuff. Well, I'll sell some stuff off uh, off cam. So I'll grab the two next ones. All right. They've gone so far as to plunder crates from some of our supply lines. If the Neverwinter Guard is to protect the city, we need to get those supplies back. Sounds good. So in the next episode, we'll go and kill those five trackmasters. We'll get the uh, ten supply crates and uh, all that good stuff. So I hope you enjoyed the video, everybody. Peace, take care, and we'll see you next time.